Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome back. Queen Oset here. Today we're going to take a look at a new oracle deck that has been illustrated by Rasuli. Um, Rasuli is the creator of the Rumi Oracle, the Heroes Dream Oracle, Journey of Love, and I wanted to say that there's another oracle that he did. But this oracle is called the Sufi Wisdom Oracle, Divine Guidance Through the Hearts of Great Sages. And what it does, it takes the words, the inspiration, the poems of some of the great poets who were Persian, I want to say, and um, bring them to light. So this oracle deck, 44 cards, you have a guidebook, and if the imagery looks familiar, as I said, then you are familiar with the Journey of Love Oracle, the Rumi Oracle, the Heroes, is it the Heroes Dreamers Journey? Let's see, I know I've got it somewhere here. Um, Rasuli, I should have been prepared, but I'm not. Yes, the Hero's Journey Dream Oracle, Rumi, as I said. Um, yeah. Okay. So, in this Oracle deck, it talks a bit about Sufism, right? Uh, to be a Sufi is to detach from fixed ideas and from preconceptions. Be generous with what you hold in your hand and don't try to avoid what is your lot? And that's by Abu Sa'id. A Sufi is a timeless and placeless person who uses his deeper identity to experience life within the culture, the place, the climate of where he lives. This deeper identity, which is the essential self, guides the Sufi beyond the superficial personality and harmonizes him with all that exists. Sufi wisdom is a collection of mystical and spiritual teachings that is concerned with developing the awareness action, creativity, and love that are beyond the superficial personality. Through the centuries, Sufi sages have produced an enormous amount of literature which accounts for a large percentage of the general philosophical works of the Middle East, India, and Africa. Great mystics such as Rumi and Hafiz are well known in the Western world because of the Sufi ideas that permeate their writings. And then he goes on to explain about his attraction to Sufi wisdom began early in life. Um, his uncle insisted on training him in Sufi wisdom. And let's see. But this deck is a unique presentation of specially selected transformational concepts of 15 of the most influential Sufi sages. It offers a fresh look at Sufi wisdom with direct translations from the original Persian to English, as well as his interpretation of the deeper meanings of their concepts. He says here, words carry their own energy and there's an alchemy exchange when one comes with an open heart to read Sufi expressions. Yes, and I have been reading the words of Hafiz and you'll find some of his poetry in this oracle as well. So, um, I'm loving the, the artwork on the book. So, let's see now. It has here, we have a Meet the Mystics. And we have several of them. He's got, what did he say, 15? Maybe you could see some of them here. Abu Sayyid. Aflaki, Ansari, Atar. Basta me. Hafiz. I want to say this is Gasseri. And so many more. Right? Like a mini, I guess you could say, biography about each one. And then we go into the card meanings. Let's see now. Are there... There are no spreads. 
in this. He says how to use the oracle deck. The messages of these oracle cards flow from the wisdom of the heart. Discourses of the Sufi sages, the interpretations, and the artworks are unstructured and spontaneity, spontaneously creative. They are best received when they are felt through the heart, rather than by trying to figure out the meaning through the thought. The best way to receive the guidance offered in the cards is to open your heart to the gift of the message. The most effective way to work with the cards is to hold the entire deck in your hand. Shuffle them several times and hold them next to your heart. Take a deep breath, clear your mind of thoughts, and then pull out a card. Once you have a card in your hand, look at the image, read the title, and feel the connection. Let the painting and the title of the card speak directly to your heart. When you feel you are ready, turn to this guidebook and read the message and the interpretation one line at a time. Meditate on and be open to each line and feel the inspiration it offers. Take all the time you need. The accompanying man mantra of each card holds a sacred expression and a mystical energy which Sufis believe communicates a psychological and spiritual power to the seeker. Sufis often use the mantra along with their whirling dances to induce an altered state of consciousness. You can use the mantra as a sacred formula or personal ritual to help guide and welcome the card messages into your life. To achieve the best results, speak the mantra aloud as often and for as long as you need until you feel it becoming a natural part of you. If you are reading for others, allow them to take similar steps to feel the messages of the cards. After you read each line, you may ask them to express the inspiration and share their feelings before you move on to the next one. So let's take a look at the card, shall we? So, the back of the cards have that beautiful Persian art, Persian inspired art there. That looks like a window. And Blue Angel Publishing, decent sized deck, matte cardstock. So. Now the cards themselves don't have any page numbers, but the guidebook is in alphabetical order so that you can find the cards with ease. Oops. See that? Yes. They're in alphabetical order. Okay. Accepting challenges. Hmm. Balanced life. Some of this imagery looks familiar to me. Beyond the ego. Celebrate life. Concealed power. Give birth to the wonder of revelation. Hmm. Dawn of love. Deal with the unexpected. Determination. Perseverance leads to fortune, huh? Do not be frustrated. Wow, it's almost the same pink as my, my cloth here. Let go and feel peaceful. Drunk with love. Let love lift you to freedom. Huh? Okay. Ending a trauma. Energy of love. Face your fears.
finding the path. interesting. Imagination. Life's purpose. Seek your own deeper vision for life. tilted back there. Limitation is power. This is I say that there is strength in silence. Not everything wants a response. Which seems to be the opposite of how we live these days, right? We must engage, we must do, we must keep busy. Listen to advice. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I miss one here? Oh, live in the moment. Listen to advice. Make a change. Welcome change into your life. Make friends. Move forward, open mind, return to joy, self-creation, oops, I just say silence in the mind. Simple pleasures. Slow down to relax. Speak out. Surrender with joy. Time to play. Transformation. Trust your gut feeling. Let your heart lead you. This looks beautiful. Turn over a new page. Union of love. Way of faith. Willpower.
Pokemon Go Bot. And you are unique. Okay, let's give this a shuffle and pull a card. Let's see what message we get from one of the masters today. life let's see what we have for balanced life and your message is this is by Rumi today like many other days we wake up empty and startled let the beauty we love be what we do life is too valuable to waste the way to spend it well is to have a balanced life. This means having mind, body, heart, and spirit all working together in harmony. When there is no conflict and no competition between these elements, the system works together and you achieve inner peace. Life becomes imbalanced when we focus too much on any one aspect and neglect the others. Rumi is a loving oracle reminding you to see the beauty around you so that love becomes a presence that affects everything you do. If you feel you are losing your enthusiasm, it means you have fallen out of balance. It might be that you are feeling overwhelmed because you are under pressure of some kind or dealing with a physical hardship which is causing stress and keeping your systems from working together. Let love guide you toward what is best for you. When you allow the spirit of love to guide you, all the organs of your body will be in harmony with each other. This oracle brings the message that your heart is big enough to receive the joy that is lying in wait for you. Allow your knowledge, awareness, and openness to allow your mind, body, and heart and spirit to work together. Begin by giving your mind confidence by strengthening your belief system. When your mind has clarity, it can guide you. You will be able to expand your memory and improve your vision, and it will help you achieve your practical goals. Spending quality times with friends, getting out in nature, taking a quiet walk, reducing your weight, or improving your sleep patterns are examples of what can be done to achieve balance in life. And that, my friends, is the Sufi Wisdom Oracle. Leave your comments below, and I shall see you next time. Until then, take care.